Alright, hey there guys. So, this time I'm going to be showing you how to work with some basic GUIs, or rather pronounced GUI, and make a simple reset button. Now if you've seen a reset button in games, all it really does, if you don't know what it is, is you click a button and your character dies, basically. So, pr my previous video was the dot touched event, and you made your character die, or damage, however you want to add it, based on that. So with a screen GUI, you won't, you're going to want to insert a screen GUI. Now screen GUIs are only displayed within your player GUI, so this is something to keep in mind. Say you were to move it to the, the backpack and whatnot, you wouldn't get anything. Now the screen GUI itself, the API for the screen GUI, is basically a holder. It's what you put all your GUI into. So we have your frames, text box, text buttons, text labels, and scrolling frames. And then you have your image button and your image label. Now all of these are these are the actual things that you would have on your screen. For example, we have our button up here. Now it doesn't actually do anything yet, but here we go. Alright, so we're gonna go I'm just gonna go ahead and recall this reset button. Alright. So what we want to do is we want to make it so that whenever we click our button, it our character dies. So there's two methods of doing this. We could either A, remove the head or the torso, or B, set our humanoid's health to zero. In this instance, I'll be showing you guys how to do both, just if you want to kind of change it around. Alright, now, look at it in my last video, I'm going to be showing you guys the object browser and how you can use that to figure out what you're doing. Now, we have a text the button, so I'm going to go ahead and find the text button in here. Here we go, text button. Now, we're going to be using mouse button one down. Now, if you guys can't tell, mouse button one down and mouse button two, button one and button two are referring to your left and right click, basically. Mouse button one down means when you click it down. You could also do mouse button one click, but it's more efficient to do mouse button one down. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. So we have our script inside of this itself. Now I'm just going to leave it in the screen GUI. You could put it inside of the button itself. It doesn't really matter. You can make it work either way. Alright, now what we're going to want to do first is we're going to want to find our character. Because through your character, your character has a property called your player. Sorry, my, my mistake. Your player has a property called character. If you were to reference this property, you can find your model in the workspace of your character. So in this case, it's scripts, parent, parent, parent. So three parents. Let's try to remove my parent. All right. So we have our character, which would be player dot character. Due to the fact, if you were to look into your player, you have the second property that shows up under data is character, and the character's value is your name. So now we have two options. We can either get the humanoid, the torso, or the head. Technically three options. Local. Let's just go ahead and grab them all. God damn it. Alright, now the reason this works is because here we are. So we have our script. We're looking for the parents, 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 the third parent. So we have a parent of the script, which is the screen GUI, the parent of that, which is our player GUI, and then the parent of that, which is our player. Then we reference our character property, which sh shows us where our character's model is within the workspace. Now that we have this, we can find anything within here. So any of these things can be edited now. So what we're going to be working with is our humanoid, our head, and our torso. Now, before we can actually start making the um, clicking, we have to make it so we have it, we can make a variable for the button itself. Just 
transparent and reset button. Alright. So let's go ahead and create a function called reset. This is the function we want to run. Alright, now with the event as I explained in the object browser, the event we want to call is mouse button one down. The way you set this up is similar to the way we did it with the brick. So we want to specify what we're using, in this case our button, which we have set to reset button as a variable. And now since we're calling an event, we want to specify the event we're using, so we're using mouse button one down. Now you want to specify the function we're connecting. Let's just go ahead and make this print resetting, just so we can test it. So now whenever we click the block, it should print resetting. Which it does down here at the bottom, if you guys can't see that. I'm going to go ahead and scroll in just in case stuff gets a little too fuzzy in the screen. So, here's some methods we can do. Now, the main thing you're going to want to know about making a reset button is if you were to say, obviously, reset, anything in your player GUI backpack, your player GUI and backpack de get destroyed when you die. So if you're building a GUI within your player GUI itself, you want to be really careful. I've run into some issues with this where you've accidentally died or you lagged out. And if you lag out and it saves the game, anything that was in your player GUI, your backpack, within your character won't be saved. So it's something to keep an eye out for. Now, first we're going to do is we're going to set our humanoid health, humanoid's health to zero. So I explained this in my last video, but this will basically do is set your total health to zero, which otherwise kills you. See? So now through that, you've made a b button that when you click it, you reset your character and you die. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and um, change the text. Reset. Text color will be white. I realize you can't see it yet. Hold on. Alright, let's see. You don't really need to do this. I just want to do this really quick for some reason. <laughs> but yeah, now we have this reset button. Alright, so now we have some other ways that we can go about this. We can go about it like it's destroying one of our body parts. We can destroy our torso or our head. If you know anything about Roblox, you know if you were to remove either of these parts from your character, you would die. So, head, remove. Now, um, it's typically better to use destroy over remove because remove is deprecated. But I've, I've always preferred remove, so I stick with remove. Now, when we die, our character's head is gone. See, our character no longer has a head, and there's no longer head in the model. And the same thing with torso. So, that's really all there is to it. It's pretty straightforward. It's it's good to learn the basics, though. You can also look into the... Now, it's mouse button one down. Now, say we made it mouse button one up. It would fire when we let go of it. I'm just going to make our health 10 for the sake of not having to die and redo that. No, watch. I have my mouse down and when I let go. If you guys can hear it, like, that's me pushing it down. It's still there. Now, please note, it's only if your mouse is still over it. Your mouse has to be over the button itself. If you were to click down and hold drag over here and let go, it doesn't do anything. So, I'm going to be ending this video here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped you learn a little bit more. And I'm going to be doing some more videos in the future, so... Please stay tuned in for those. If you're interested in helping out New Era Studio grow, feel free to join through my. Ch you can find it through my profile on Roblox. You guys know my username, Snow Fun Size. We're currently working on building our community and getting our name out there. Hope to see you guys there. Hope to see you guys in other videos. Have a good day.